Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about the GATE 2021 exam. I'm going to talk about the cutoff. I'm going to talk about that how much rank you can expect for a given marks. Okay. Now, uh, this particular video is going to be very important if you have given the exam and if you are waiting for the result. This is just my opinion before starting, before telling you anything. I'm just telling you that this is just my opinion based upon uh, the exam which I have given, the based upon the level which I have seen uh, for the exam and based upon what views I am getting from the students. I am not considering the poll which I was which I have given on the channel because in that poll around uh, when I am recording this video around 3500 students have polled and it seems like uh, people have like uh, they have doped it okay doped means they have not given correct uh, range for this that's why the poll seems to be very distorted and yeah i can show you that right now how the poll looks but yeah i am not going to consider that considering what i have uh, like i have talked about students like talk to the student regarding the exam and considering the fact that the people whom i know so uh, with respect to all those things this video is going to be about it and if you have not subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing this channel uh, i usually post videos related to the competitive exams and related to chemistry stuffs on this channel so if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed to it please do subscribe it now without wasting any time let's continue with our video all right so before telling you anything let's let's try to analyze a little bit about the exam okay let's try to understand a little bit about the exam the exam this year was very simple there were some key points first of all let me tell you uh, first thing is that this year uh, the exam was very simple as compared to the previous year's exam if you see so uh, the, the exam is very very simple and you all must agree on this right why because see gate exam is usually known for the physical chemistry portion if you ask anyone any person who is expert or who has given this exam and who who tracks the level of the exam he will tell you that gate exam has a difficult physical chemistry portion this time the physical chemistry portion was very very simple it was very simple uh, even i can say that it was below the jam level also okay the jam level is also a little bit standard compared to this uh, this time they have asked questions from colligative properties some questions with direct calculations there were no difficult questions where you have to deal with the units and you have to come up with the answer which usually gate does in the calculative questions uh, it used to give in such a way that you have to calculate a lot you have to convert the units and then you get the answer this this time very few very few questions were there like that okay so i would say that the physical chemistry portion was very simple also uh, the the organic chemistry portion was also very simple okay the only thing which was of a quite standard uh, level was in organic chemistry especially coordination chemistry was quite of a standard level okay now this you don't expect from gate and this is going to affect the cutoff now why it happened i already told you about this that's because this time in the eligibility criteria for for the gate exam if you want to become eligible for uh, for uh, sitting in the gate exam they have reduced it uh, to ma uh, to bachelors also earlier it was like only masters students can give this exam this time they have also included bsc final year students to appear in it and that's why they have reduced the level of the exam i guess so and uh, also one more thing that this time they have included msqs i thought that msqs are going to trouble the students it's going to affect the cutoff everybody of us was expecting the same and that's why everybody was telling you that be prepared with it the cutoff may go high for the exam so you should be you should do more number of questions and so on but the msqs there were six msqs i guess in the paper and they were so simple they were very very simple except the one i guess for that uh, quantum chemistry question which came based upon the acceptable wave function i guess many people did mistake in that apart from that all the msqs were very simple now the thing is that uh, how much is going to be the cutoff the cutoff this time was being expected to go low like earlier when the exam was not uh, when the exam didn't happen we were expecting that the cutoff is going to go low uh, because of the because all these msqs and other things have been included but now after looking upon the level of the exam when i went uh, uh, when i came out of the center there i met a lot of students and i like i talked to them regarding organic chemistry portion also 
दे ऑल्सो टोल्ड मी दैट ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री वॉज वेरी वेरी सिंपल तो इफ फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री एंड ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री बोथ आर सो सिंपल सो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दैट द कट ऑफ इज गोइंग टू गो हाई नाउ हाई मीन्स हाउ मच हाई द कट ऑफ इज गोइंग टू गो सी इफ यू एनालाइज द प्रीवियस ईयर्स ऑफ योर कट ऑफ आई एल गिव यू चार्ट ओवर हेयर वेयर आई हैव आई हैव एनालाइज एंड आई हैव गिवन दैट हाउ मच कट ऑफ वेंट इन विच ईयर Uh, I have also done that on my uh, on my website, so you can go there. In link is there in the description of the video, so you can go there. Uh, previous ten years cut off is analyzed over there. So yeah, uh, previous year if I talk about that is two thousand twenty and two thousand nineteen. Okay, just if I consider these two years. So in two thousand nineteen the cut off was for the general category the cut off was thirty two marks, and in two thousand twenty the cut off was uh, around twenty uh, six marks. so uh, that means that exam was difficult the the uh, 2020 exam was difficult and if you see the question paper you will yourself analyze or you will yourself realize that yes uh, 2020 exam was way too difficult compared to 2021 exam so uh, do you where do you expect the cut off to be i expect that the cut off will go from 28 or 29 to 32 or 33 that's the range which i am taking i know that the range which i am taking is of 4 or 5 marks if i want to be very very precise i will go from 29 to 32 that should be the range okay but yeah it can go up till 33 also it won't go much higher than 32 because it has never went in the past 10 years that's one thing second thing is that even though the paper was difficult uh, sorry paper was easy yet people did very silly mistakes and that made uh, them uh, to stay in the lower score okay the less is score around 30 or something so in the poll also you will see most of the students are in that range only from 30 marks to uh, 45 marks now talking about the top positions like top ranks uh, at, at what marks you can expect those top ranks see uh, earlier when i had no idea about it i was ex i was expecting that 65 marks would be enough to get a uh, top 100 rank but i had a discussion with many students and i myself personally know around 20 to 30 students who are getting 70 or more than 70 marks so i only know a fraction of students they are they are let's say five or six times of students who have given exam to uh, compared to whom i have contacted to so if i take statistics and if i analyze in that way i can say that uh, 70 plus or 69 plus would to be very precise is going to be the top 100 ranks okay so the top 100 ranks are from 69 plus marks so if you are getting marks more than 69 you can expect that you will be under 100 rank okay from rank 1 to rank 100 now uh, these are just my opinion okay the, uh, these are just my opinion after analyzing everything and after uh, like talking to the students after looking upon the question paper and other things okay so this is these are just pure my opinion what about a candidate who is getting let's say 33 or 32 marks should he be disheartened right now no don't take my words as the universal truth okay i have just said based upon my experience and my analysis if you are getting around 32 33 34 something like that you can still be assured that wait for the final answer key okay wait sorry wait for the final result answer key is already there so wait for the final result of gate and let's see what gate decides all right so this is the analysis which i have done i have told you the reasons also that why it happened why uh, the cut off is high this time and uh, why it will be high this time and uh, what about the level of the exam what you guys think okay i want to hear from you all what you think in the comment sections below and the poll don't rely on that okay I, like in, in initially i was relying on it up till 1000 votes till that time but after that people i think they they just voted for the higher marks i don't know but that if i consider that poll into consideration right now around 4000 students or 3500 students have polled in that and if i consider that uh, 10% of them more than 10% of them said that they are getting more than 70 marks so that means ki around 300 or 400 students have are getting more than 70 marks that is totally like uh, devastating right that means ki the top 100 ranks are like uh, top 100 ranks for getting a top 100 rank you should get more than 75 or 80 marks 
that does not happen actually uh, i still believe that the pole is not correct and it is doped totally so yeah don't believe on that yeah that's what my analysis says okay i want to hear from you guys what you guys think about it that's what i think uh, most of you will agree upon so yeah if you are getting something around that you can be assured that if you are getting around let's say 40 marks 45 marks something like that you can be assured that you are going to qualify the exam now how much for what rank exactly it is very difficult to predict but if you are getting 50 plus you can expect that your rank will be under 1000 okay so 50 plus will be under 1000 uh, 69 plus or 68 plus will be under 100 and uh, as i told you 32 or 33 is going to be the cutoff okay from 29 to 33 so all these things which we have discussed is just an opinion of mine so just consider it as an opinion don't take it as the final truth okay just consider it as just an opinion and uh, that's what i want to say okay i'm not that great on predicting all these things but yet with the experience little bit whatever i have i can say these things so that's what i have discussed i just wanted to tell you all because i was getting continuous messages and comments in the videos it was very important to make this video for you all all right so that's all from my side guys thank you so much for watching and if you like the video give it a like as i said if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day Bye bye